The results of the FLORA study that we will present this evening will define a new standard of care for patients with EGFR mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer. I'll walk you through the top highlights of the trial. This is a randomized phase three trial that compares osimertinib to standard of care EGFR inhibitors in patients with EGFR mutation positive lung cancer. These are our disclosures. EGFR mutations are seen in approximately 15 to 35 percent of lung adenocarcinomas. The incidence of EGFR mutations are higher in Asian patients. For these patients, we now know that EGFR inhibitors are the standard of care. Erlotinib, gefitinib, and afatinib are the three approved drugs in this space. Now, regardless of how well patients respond to these drugs, ultimately everybody develops re resistance. And half of these patients develop resistance through this new mutation referred to as the T790M mutation. Now, osimertinib is a first-in-class mutation-specific EGFR inhibitor that blocks your common EGFR mutations and also the T790M mutation. So we wanted to see if by shutting down a major escape pathway by giving osimertinib upfront, whether we would be able to improve patient outcomes. And in fact, in preclinical studies, we saw this to be the case. And in a 60 patient expansion cohort from the phase one study of osimertinib, we saw very high response rates in the frontline setting and a median PFS of close to 20 months. So based on all of these lines of evidence, we launched the FLORA phase three clinical trial. This is a double blind randomized clinical trial with placebo control where patients with EGFR mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer were randomized to treatment with osimertinib at a dose of 80 milligrams per day or standard of care, which could either be gefitinib at its approved dose of 250 milligrams per day or erlotinib at its approved dose of 150 milligrams per day. For patients in the standard of care arm, we allowed for crossover to receive osimertinib if they had documented progression and developed the presence of T790M mutation. The primary endpoint for this trial was median progression-free survival, and secondary endpoints included response rate and survival. Osimertinib improved median progression-free survival in a robust, clinically significant, and statistically significant manner. The median PFS for the control group was 10.2 months, and for osimertinib, it was 18.9 months, and the hazard ratio was 0.46. What's very unique about this curve is that the curves separate very early and stay consistently separated. The p-value for hazard ratio was less than 0.01. The overall survival hazard ratio was 0.63, though I would say that the survival data are relatively immature at only about 25%. The p-value here was 0.0068. For this interim analysis at an early point for overall survival, we would have required a p-value of 0.0015 to call it statistically significant. So at this point, we would call this a strong and promising survival trend. We also show here that osimertinib has activity against brain metastases. When we look at the 116 patients who came into the trial with history of brain metastases versus patients who came in without any brain metastases, the hazard ratio is nearly identical at 0.46 and 0.47, suggesting that osimertinib exerts activity not only in systemic sites, but also in the brain. In fact, when we looked at number of patients who progressed in the brain while on therapy, it was 6% for patients treated with osimertinib compared to 15% for patients treated with standard of care, suggesting that osimertinib protects the brain and the systemic sites. So in conclusion, FLORA results demonstrate a 54% reduction in progression-free survival with the use of osimertinib when compared to standard of care. And the hazard ratio was consistent in patients with and without brain metastases at the time of study entry. 
What I didn't show you is the duration of response was more than twofold higher, with 18.5 for the standard of care versus 17.2 months for osimertinib treated patients. The interim overall survival results show a promising trend with a hazard ratio of 0 0.63. And the safety profile, which I haven't gone over because of time, showed clear benefits to patients receiving osimertinib where treatment discontinuation was much less common with osimertinib and grade three, four all-cause events was almost 12 points lower for patients who received osimertinib therapy. So on the strength of all these observations, we conclude that osimertinib is a new standard of care for patients with EGFR mutation positive non-small cell lung cancer. I want to thank you for your attention.